Hashtag outfit of the week. Someone's car alarm is going off and it's literally so loud. Seriously? Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am dressed like the Little Mermaid because I'm doing DIY Disney clothes. If you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, you guys know that I spent last week at Disneyland with my little brother. It was so much fun. I'm seriously such a Disney freak, obviously. So we had a lot of fun, but before we left, I spent some time like making my own Disney themed clothes and they came out really, really well. I wanted to share them with you because I know a lot of you guys probably love Disney too and it's really, really fun to make them. They're pretty cheap and really simple. If you guys like this video and want to see more Disney themed videos, give it a thumbs up and comment Disney down in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can join our family. We just hit 15,000 subscribers, which is insane. But anyways, let's just get into the video. Hope you guys like it. So the first DIY is a Disney must, and that is a pair of Mickey Mouse ears. I'm just starting off with this brown headband and then I'm using a pair of Disney ears that I already have to mark where the ears should go. And since this was an old pair that I don't wear anymore, I'm just cutting off the ears to use as my base, but you can totally just make your own out of cardboard or cardstock or anything that's thick. Now you're gonna need some fabric to cover your ears. Choose a color that matches the flowers or decorations that you're gonna be putting on the outside so that it can blend in. Cut a piece of fabric around the ear that is just slightly bigger so that it can be wrapped around the outside and you're gonna need four of these little fabric pieces. Place your base on top of the fabric and you're basically just gonna be wrapping the fabric around it and gluing little by little around the edges. Now it's time to decorate the ears. I got these bunches of paper flowers from Michaels and I'm just cutting them off the stem and then gluing them onto the ear. Try to cover the whole front and back of each ear with your decorations, but don't worry if there are some gaps, that's what we put the fabric down for. When both ears are sufficiently flowered up, just glue them onto the headband between the guidelines that we marked at the beginning. And as my last little finishing touch, I got this big white bow to decorate the front. I just cut off the bottom pieces of the bow so that it would fit perfectly in between the ears. And that is it. These only took me about 20 minutes to make and they are honestly so cute. Also, I love how unique they are. Like usually when you go to Disneyland, you see like everyone in the same exact Minnie Mouse ears, but no one will have the same ones as you. Also, this is one of the cheaper DIYs. Like all in all, I think I spent about $3 on supplies. So if you're going for a cheap Disney DIY, this is definitely the one for you. Baby, I knew it once that you were meant for me. Moving on to the second DIY, and that is these little Minnie Mouse sneakers. So the first thing that I'm doing is just taking these little bows, which are actually infant hair bows, which I know seems weird, but they were like the perfect size. And I just hot glued these onto the back of each shoe. And then you're just gonna need some white fabric paint and these little like half circle sponge brushes. And I'm just dabbing the sponge brush in the paint and then pressing it onto the shoe to form a perfect circle. When you're true to your heart. And if you don't use enough pressure with the sponge brush, it's gonna be a little bit patchy in the circles and that's totally fine. You can just go in with a fine tip brush later and kind of touch it up. And the last thing I did is totally unnecessary. Honestly, you can't even really see it, but I thought it made it look a little bit more like designed is I took a fine tip Sharpie and I just kind of outlined the stitching on the front. And that is it for my Minnie Mouse shoes. The shoes themselves were, I think $12. I got them from Target. So not the cheapest DIY, but also for a pair of shoes, still pretty cheap. Plus they were actually really comfy. Over sideways and under on the magic carpet ride, a whole new world. And for our last DIY, we're just using some transfer paper to make some cute little Disney graphic tees. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is find the images that you wanna print onto your shirt and then you just have to flip that image before you print it so that it's mirrored. And then you just wanna print out your images onto a sheet of transfer paper. Once you've printed your images, you just wanna cut them out and leave a little bit of a white border around the image so that it doesn't peel off when you wash it. And if you don't have an ironing board, just lay down a pillowcase onto a hard surface and then lay the t-shirt on top of that. You wanna iron all the wrinkles out of the shirt before you do the transfer paper so that the image comes out totally smooth. And then you're just gonna wanna follow the directions on your transfer paper. Every type might be a little bit different, but basically what you're gonna do is flip the image over and then use a lot of pressure on a high heat setting to transfer the image onto the shirt. Then you can just peel off the top layer of the transfer paper and your image will be perfectly transferred onto your t-shirt. And 
for one last finishing touch, I took a little mini mouse bow. It's actually a hair bow, and then I pinned it onto the back of the tank top just to make it look a little bit more decorative. I also used the same method to make a second t-shirt for my little brother. Since we were celebrating his birthday, but his actual birthday isn't for like three months, I made him a shirt that said, it's my unbirthday with the Mad Hatter hat, and it seriously looked so cool. So yes, 10 out of 10 would recommend the transfer paper for Disney DIY shirts. Also, you can personalize it since you're printing your own image. You can write your name or the date, or if you're going for a special event like grad night, you can write something like that. It's honestly just so perfect and so customizable. Austin and I had a blast at Disneyland. This was our fourth year going for his birthday and we seriously just have like the best time and making my own Disney clothes just made that like 10 times better. It was seriously so much fun and I'm definitely gonna be trying more DIYs next time I go. I've been watching liked this video it was so much fun to do something Disney themed since I'm like such a Disney freak if you guys try out any of the DIYs I would love to see how it worked out for you go ahead and just tweet it to me or tag me in it on Instagram and I want to see how it all came together and if you liked this video and want to see more Disney themed videos comment Disney down in the comments so that I know all right you guys that is it for this princess and I'll see you guys next week bye Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm sporting my future Mrs. shirt because I'm gonna be talking to you guys about wedding planning. About a month ago when Steven and I got engaged, we did an engagement Q&A and we answered a lot of questions about the wedding and the engagement, but we had just gotten engaged literally the day before we filmed that, so we didn't have too many details figured out. But now we have a lot more planned, so I just kind of wanted to share with you guys where I met with my planning and kind of give you guys an update on wedding planning. 